Hey there friends, it's Genevieve unlocking up grading, showing off, and checking out different paths on Spellman's yet again, this time on the fire. Poor guy, so neglected. Let's go. Click on that glowing icon, that's telling me I have some spells to upgrade that I haven't checked out yet. Since how he has a lot of different schools, I'm just going to click on the fire icon just to show the fire spells. And since they changed up Nautilus Unleashed, let's check it out. Before, it was still on the upper path because it only had one path when I had upgraded it to tier 2. So that one stole one charm and then it did damage. And this is a no advanced combat spell, unfortunately, for the top. They did add a bottom path. I believe it was the spring update. I could be wrong and maybe they adjusted it again for summer. But the bottom path, it pushes a harmful ward, which is pretty handy, onto the target. And then it does 650 damage damage of my school, your wizard who's casting at school. Now, if a storm is casting this, it's going to put storm damage over time. That's kind of crazy, don't you think? If I had a ton of extra ones that I could just, you know, throw away, I would actually put 35 of those into the shared bank so that another one of my wizards could unlock it to show that off. But I'm not going to do that. And unfortunately, I was right that the treasure cards only have the steel and damage version. So since I already used the top path for a while, let's upgrade it to the bottom path and test it out. Maybe these, uh, what are these school over here? Their death, which almost always puts some sort of war on you oh yes let's do the bottom one woohoo 75 spellaments to upgrade it to tier 2 and 35 spellaments to learn it on your wizard now this is a lore spell so make sure your deck is set to fire if that is what you want if not you will have to change it during the battle all right and his highest sun enchant spell is gargantuan because he's still a youngster that's plus 225 damage added to the nautilus unleashed i don't think that changed it at all <laughs> Pretty sure it didn't change it. Oh well. And this costs three pips and one fire pip. Um, yeah, I got the ice ones, so they're not gonna put any wards on me, so I'm just gonna kill them. <clears throat> Defeat them. Doom. All right, there's one, two overtimes. And if my fire cat was currently upgraded to the lower path, then I could just detonate one of those. Woohoo! Boosh, boosh, ow for you, icy creature. Yeah, you did. Oh, looky, I have a trap on me. Fantastic. So let's use it. Thank you, Death, for being so obliging. Dun 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 dun. Oh, part of the ship like disappeared. Ooh, I was like, wait, it didn't use it. Woohoo. It was kind of weird that it wouldn't like show the animation of putting it over there, but hey, it's okay. Ooh, ouch for you. Oh, ouch for you. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. And I really like these death creatures because look, they've also using blades. So gonna be getting them and stealing from them too. Oh look, they have an overtime. Let's use the sunbird. <laughs> oh, I don't think it even got a chance, sweepy. Ah. Yeah, when I put the gargantuan on it, because it says 650, two overtimes over four rounds and then it says 650 <laughs> so not like the fire dragon here which goes up a lot even though it shows that it is a boosted version so go figure yes let's get them before they can shield suckers oh all right now we're gonna reset it and go up to the top path see which one we like better oh and technically we can upgrade it to tier three which is what should have done for me, the main difference with this is that this is kind of the smolder, which is not doing damage on the first round. This does damage immediately. This does damage on the turn after you cast it. But now we're going to reset it. Yes. And we're going to go to the top path, which is the same as the tier one where it steals the ward and then it does the damage. But 
but since we have enough and we can get it to tier three, so instead of just doing 10 more damage on either side, it's going to do 10 more damage. So now it's going to do 435 to 535 damage after stealing that blade. Now he doesn't have much use for that death blade there, but better than that death enemy using it against you, right? Honestly, I don't know which one of these I like better. Fire does get a lot of boosts off of overtimes. I reset a lot of these spells so that I could test their other paths, but quite a lot of them get boosts from overtimes. Mm -hmm. Now with this one, adding 225 actually boosts up the damage. Go figure, I'm not sure why the other one didn't. Yay, I get to go first, so that means if they do give themselves a blade, like they usually do, I'm gonna steal it. Oh, what a shocker. It's not like I didn't see you do it 15 times in other people's battles. Mm-hmm, Alrighty, here we go. Give me that blade, sucker. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Give me that blade. See, like that one showed the blade coming to you. But I guess that only works with Steel Ward because when my pet Steel Ward is activated, it brings the ward to me. It doesn't make it disappear and then reappear on me, which I don't know. That's kind of weird because pushing seems like it would be that same showing in animation, not it's going to look like it got used on me and then show up on them. That was kind of weird. All right, I'm not gonna boost this up. Let's see what kind of damage it does on this ice with the shield. Oh yeah. Oh, I love, love, love these spells. I know a lot of people think that spell limits are a waste of time, but I just love them. I love the fact that you can adjust and change and just make your spell however you want, or you could totally leave it the same way it always is. What is going on with my legs? Do I gotta pee or what? <laughs> What's going on? Oh my gosh. Anyhow, which path do you like better? Do you like the one that pushes the trap off of you and then hits with overtimes? Or do you like the one that steals that blade and then does the damage? Of course, only one of them can be upgraded with enchant spell. So that's also a yes or no. But thanks so much for checking this out and let me know in the comments which one do you think is better and we will see you later. Bye bye.